Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar we'll look at the weather warnings as we do have some very heavy rain pushing through in the west over the course of this evening a squall line is potentially moving through which could cause some issues with wind and rain warnings as I said have been uh, put in force for from around 6pm this evening we've got a lot of heavy rain around a lot of heavy rain a lot of saturated ground uh, and that means whenever we get some of these heavier bursts we can see surface water flooding a lot easier than normal. We'll then have a look at the UK V, look at the precipitation and the temperature generally over the next five days, as it does look like we're going on a uh, slightly milder spell over the next sort of week or so, with higher pressure, pressure potentially building in towards the end of this week, so turning things actually a lot drier. Before we have a look at the longer range of the GFS, GM, Eastern WF, and the ensembles, we've still got hints of blocking towards the end of the month, uh, but for the timing, sort of the day 10 time frame, it looks like the jet stream could shift slightly further south with a bit of high pressure to our north. Nothing crazy cold, but average to below average instead of above average what we have at the moment, but below average temperatures and very unsettled conditions with big low pressure system pushing in. Could be even named storms mixing in with that. Uh, low pressures in the longer term look like they could really spin up a lot. So it does look likely over the course of the next weeks so we're going to be seeing a lot more eventful weather uh, coming our way. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So, if we do start on live radar, you can see loads of patches of rain at the moment. Some of these really quite heavy, especially to southern parts of Wales, parts of Republic of Ireland, and into northern England and Scotland. We've got another weather front exiting parts of eastern England at the moment. We're just going to see a lot of patches of heavy rain. So, it's going to be a day of some dry spells, but also some torrential rain, and some, yeah, real horrible conditions out there over the course of the next 24 hours. Now, I'm recording this around midday, about half past 12. You see those temperatures are not too bad today, the wind direction, as you can see from the direction of that precipitation, it's coming in from the southwest. So it's a generally quite mild direction, but because we're under thick cloud, gusty winds, and from very heavy rain, those temperatures are high, uh, or at least mild this time of year, but they won't feel all too mild. You've got a lot of yellows here, so that's showing sort of 13, 15 degrees, but it will not feel that mild. It'll feel probably colder, more around like the high single digits in terms of feel like temperatures. So yeah, quite mild, uh, but not feeling all too mild, and really quite horrible with a lot of heavy rain around. Now that rain will really perk up this evening. We've got uh, weather warnings issued. Now we've got a rain warning issued from 3pm until midnight tonight across parts of southern Scotland. Heavy rain may cause some disruption. We'll have a look at the raw precipitation charts in a minute and we'll be able to see what uh, where that precipitation is coming from, potentially 15 to 25 millimetres over the warning area with potentially 50 millimetres over higher ground. Again, that's not too much rain in itself, but in a short period of time over very saturated ground, that's when we can start to see issues. We have another yellow rain and wind warning issued for from 6pm until midnight tonight uh, and again this covers a very large area. Uh, again this goes from all the way from parts of Northern Ireland all the way down parts of Wales and southwest England. Again highlight the lower end of the impact matrix. A band of rain and gusty winds will move east during Monday evening. For most this will simply be a period of normal and pleasant autumn conditions. However for, for some a short period of very heavy rain and very strong winds is possible bringing gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour temporarily and perhaps 70 miles per hour as well as 20 millimeters in the space of an hour. Chance of hail and lightning in a few places as well. That is typical squall line, line convection sort of conditions. You'll be able to see that really quite well in the UK view, where we have a very short band, plenty 10 or 20 minutes of intense conditions along the cold front boundary. Uh, and it's pretty typical autumnal and spring-like conditions we see in the UK with these, where we have very strong uh, temperature changes. That causes this big convection um, along the cold front, and the, of course you can see thunderstorms along it, but here it looks like there's be some very heavy rain. Again, over very saturated ground, that's where we could see some issues with surface water flooding. So do go over to the UKV and have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the course of the next five days. Now you can see that rain pushing in at the moment, a lot of heavier rain around, showers, and as we head towards this evening, look at that precipitation across the west, gathering, strengthening, turning into line convection. You can see that around 10pm this evening, these lines of red, that is significant uh, precipitation rates, uh, ridiculous amounts, and uh, we could be seeing as I said 20, 25, 30 millimetres falling in the space of 20 minutes or an hour or, or whatever, depending on exact positioning and movement of it. Again, very gusty winds along with it, it's like a typical 
or thunderstorm sort of conditions and eventually it will move eastwards sort of fading as it does and that's why the warning area is mainly in the west but for many areas uh, we're just going to see some very heavy rain with it over the course of this evening for a lot of heavy showers rumbling from the west tomorrow uh, maybe some thundery showers there through tuesday especially in the west and as we head towards uh tuesday night into wednesday still quite a few showers around maybe even some thunderstorms and by wednesday at the day of sunshine and showers quite a few sunshine patches there but also quite a few heavy showers maybe even thundery showers and into thursday you can see some precipitation around in the north uh, and weather fronts trying to budge in, but you can see they're getting held at bay to the west. And this is because higher pressure is building in. The south and the east, you can see a big high pressure system is building in. And it's actually going to be setting quite warm and mild with those 850 HP temperatures really climbing. Look at that, 10, 11, 12 degrees. That's sort of a summer-like air mass. In the summer, that would give temperatures uh, in excess of the mid-20s, maybe even touching high 20s and a few spots locally, maybe even 30 degrees if this were July, but we're four months late, we were in November now, so it's highly likely we're most likely just going to see mid teens of this, uh, and of course with sunshine it will feel quite pleasant, uh, but of course you saw weather fronts trying to bump in, positioning of those where they just get trapped, where you see some trapped cloud, that could cool those temperatures down a little bit. But if you do look at the 2 meter max temperatures you can see today, those temperatures are said rising to around 13 to 15 degrees, so pretty mild for this time of year, but not feeling all too warm because of the precipitation in the cloud. It's Tuesday, those temperatures in the day, we do rise to around, again, 12 to 14 degrees, slightly cooler, but again, pretty mild this time of year. Further north and west, slightly cooler, maybe only 9 or 10. And until Wednesday, we see those temperatures again, once, once again, rise to around 12, 13 degrees, maybe locally 14 or 15 in the far southeast. And into Thursday, you see those temperatures starting to rise more widely around that 14, 15, 16 degree mark. And finally, into Friday, you can see again, widely 15, maybe 16 or 17 in a few spots. So quite a mild day there on Friday as we do start to put up, push up those warm air masses from the south under higher pressure. Again, though, I do think it will be quite temporary. It'll be a few days of higher pressure, warmer conditions. So next weekend doesn't look all too bad. If you've got any plans, outdoor plans for the middle of November, doesn't look too bad. So the best conditions you can get with high pressure pushing in a southerly flow, dry uh, and generally mild conditions. So do now go have a look at the longer range, look at the GFS, GM, Eastern OF and the Ensembles. You can see at the moment a southwesterly wind with low pressure rumbling in off the Atlantic, bringing us very unsettled conditions. That continues later this week until we push up those southerly winds with higher pressure. As I said, it only lasts a few days, and probably by Monday time, low pressure pushes through with unsettled conditions. And towards day 10, you can see high pressure towards Scandinavia trying to penetrate into the Arctic. And what this does is not send us cold, but it pushes the jet stream slightly further south. But you can see this black line is more through France instead of the UK. And this means all the air masses are slightly shifted southwards. So we get more towards average or colder than average. Beyond that, we generally keep a westerly flow. That high pressure is still to our east and actually really budges the low pressures to our south and we put in temporary easterly winds when the lows uh, sweep through and you can see right to the end is a real block sort of pattern very interesting again not producing anything cold but you can see the uk is very close to these cold air masses stuck to our north we're generally average to potentially below average there as you'll see in the ensembles at the end of the video we're very much towards average or below average in the longer term so turning much cooler perhaps Again, though, we have to wait and see in the longer range whether we this blocking pattern, this high pressure to our north, does produce anything significantly cold. Again, we need to see these cold air masses spread into Eastern Europe uh, and parts of Scandinavia before anything cold could reach the UK. So we've got to keep an eye out for that. But interesting patterns continue in the longer term with higher pressure trying to push to our north, the jet stream pushing further southwards. Uh, again, something to keep an eye on. If you do look at the GM, see how that does compare. Again, a westerly flow at the moment, very unsettled. But high pressure building in by the end of this week and controlling all the way into the weekend. And then Monday, finally, low pressure rumbles in again. And at day 10, you can see, yes, not too much blocking to our north, but we have got a bit of a dip of the jet stream towards the UK. So cooler areas pumping towards the UK, uh, but very warm air masses just sitting to our south. And what this could mean is we see some very severe low pressure systems develop on that boundary between the very cold air and the very mild air. You can see it even better by having a look at the temperature 
deviation. Look at that. 12 degrees below average, clashing with 6 degrees above average. So sort of 15 to 20 degree temperature differences there. With low pressure rumbling up towards the UK, that could spin up some big lows with that jet stream pushed slightly further south. It's a bit more amplified. So again, no blocking pattern from the GEM here. Uh, yes, a subtly shifted jet stream. High pressure trying to push towards Scandinavia, but nothing too major at all. Uh, but again, just something to keep an eye on. This could turn us quite cool and stormy. If you do look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare over the next 10 days. Again, a westerly flow at the moment, staying fairly unsettled. Higher pressure building in before we go, again, very unsettled in the longer term. And again, that could be a named storm there with a very severe low moving in there. That's similar to the GEM, where we do have a dip in the jets, but similar to the GFS with that high pressure towards, pushing towards Scandinavia pushing the jet stream further southwards. And you can see we're gently on the cool side of the jet stream. All the warm, sort of 5, 10 degree air masses, all to our south towards the Mediterranean and Spain. Uh, trying to get picked up by lows, but we're more in the cooler air masses. And you can at the temperature deviation, we're generally average to below average for this time of year. So you can see the longer term trends from all the main models are for it to turn cooler, more unsettled after a brief period of high pressure this weekend. Uh, three or four days of high pressure, so sort of, oh, not brief, but nothing prolonged, um, before it turns cooler and more unsettled with blocking, trying to push in, but for the time being only shifting that jet stream further southwards, allowing, I said, cooler air masses to move in. You see that really well on the ensemble members. You can see average to above average at the moment, doing much above average with dry period for about three, four, five days there, with high pressure pushing in, and then those temperatures drop all the way towards average for the last half of November, at least from the 15th to the 23rd. And we're generally average to maybe below average, but above average depending on each ensemble member, and again, very unsettled. So cooler and more unsettled in the longer term. Looks like that is what is going to be happening. And again, you can see this more reflected on the G points. G points definitely dropping quite a lot, so definitely showing more of an arctic influence again nothing ridiculously cold but dropping towards two three degree dew points instead of sort of 10 degree dew points we have at the moment and over the next few days um so yeah definitely turning cold in the longer term and you can finish by having feet two meters temperatures and again you can see they're on the downwards trend perhaps struggling to get into the double digits in around a week or 10 days time whereas we've been in the double digits for the last four or five months uh, plus maybe even the last six or seven months consistently we perhaps can get to the period now where we're consistently in these single digits so we'll have to see what happens over the next few weeks so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon